so um, moving moving forward, that was the advice that was bestowed on you. Do you have any advice for anyone trying to get into this field, say they want to be a 911 dispatcher, and you know they're listening to the story that, that you're telling, and it's something that's sparking an interest in them. Do you have any advice that you want to share for maybe an up-and-coming or someone actually starting in the, that's already there that's just kind of starting to get ready to uh, get their, their feet wet, so to speak, in the business? Yeah, I would say don't allow the people around you or even um, the community that make you become jaded. Mm -hmm. I think when you go into a field like that, you want to help um, and you are like really excited to be able to help. But over time, hearing like stories and um, working the hours and um, being around just negativity, you know, from just people who've been doing it for a really, really long time. Mm -hmm. um, people rub off on you and become jaded. Remember why you got into the to that job to begin with. And it's truly to help people. Um, and I think, you know, that was one of the biggest reasons why I decided to leave. It wasn't because I was jaded. It was because I was getting tired of some of the people around me. And it was just becoming like a toxic environment. Okay. Um, one of many reasons. It wasn't the only reason. Um, but, yeah, just don't become jaded because it's, it is easy to become jaded in that field. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I agree. Because uh, on, the, on the outside... And even in even in even in a jail setting, um, one one thing that affects guys that I guess you know that's in my my side of the world is uh, is burnout because like mm -hmm. you know you, you'll you hear me talking about it in, in other interviews too that um, nobody ever really calls us to say hey man we just want to let you know you're doing a great job you know Not they usually all. call us because <laughs> yeah they they usually call us because like you said uh, this guy's trying to kill me or somebody mm -hmm. just broke into the house. I cannot find my kids or, you know, some in, in you and it's like a hundred miles an hour. Um, well, it can be like a hundred miles an hour going to every situation. And a lot of those times we are only given limited um, information. And because you say the callers is, is, is your, is your eyes into the situation and you have to relay that message. And uh, knowing what I know from like experience in the military and in experience just in law enforcement period is that, when someone is is uh, gripped with fear and, you know, a heightened sense of self-preservation, they usually have mm -hmm. tunnel vision. They don't really know what else is going on around or or they have a hard time describing, um, you know, I'm, I'm in the yellow house, but the house is white. You know what I'm saying? Or, or something like that. You know, I'm, I'm in the I'm in the upstairs room to the left, but it's to the right. You know what I'm saying? And you, you, you don't really. So you kind of have to. We get in the description, we get in the we get in the information, but we still have to kind of filter through it too. So so yeah, definitely uh the jaded part for us would be like burnout. So yes. def definitely understand. Absolutely. Yep, and I, I can I, I can relate a little bit to that too. And I've seen some some guys like that that and gals that that's happened to. 